Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are tackling my first postpartum clean with me. I just had baby Blair a little over a month ago, and honestly, in this month's time, life has been crazy, my house has gone to crud, and I have not been able to keep up with cleaning. As you can imagine, with a newborn and five other kids, life is very chaotic and busy, and I feel like when you have a brand new baby, you feel like you're always racing against the clock to get things done. This morning she had actually peed all over my comforter so I had to start the morning doing laundry but while she is content in the swing I am going to try to tackle the rest of the mess. My little boys right now are totally into building forts and that has escalated into pulling out every single blanket in our home every single day and building forts in various places which is super fun and I'm glad that they are using their imagination but every once in a while I just need a clean space. So while she is content I'm going to race against the clock. I've sent the little kids downstairs. My older ones are downstairs as well. They're all contently playing in the basement and I am going to try to tackle cleaning as much as I possibly can before baby Blair needs me again. So let's jump into it. Let's get motivated and let's see how much I can actually accomplish in this first postpartum clean with me. I wanted to go ahead and take a moment to introduce myself to any of you who may be stopping by my channel for the very first time. My name is Sarah, and like I said, this is my very first postpartum clean with me since welcoming our new baby in August. We just welcomed a sweet little baby girl. She's baby number six, and we are so head over heels in love with her, obsessed with her. She has just been the sweetest little blessing to our family. We cannot get enough with her. My kids are literally all over her at all times. And I've really just taken the last month to just enjoy her sweet little newborn snuggles to allow my body to heal and just not put too much pressure on myself. But it feels good to be back on YouTube. It feels good to be filming again and I am so excited to kind of just share the real, the raw, and what life is like right now with my channel. We are also currently homeschooling in the midst of everything that's going on. So I am in charge of homeschooling three school-age kids while two very busy preschoolers run around my house and I have a newborn. So life around here is a little bit chaotic and I do not sugarcoat that when it comes to sharing that with my children channel. It has always been my goal to really just show a realistic look into motherhood, whether that be cleaning or day in the lives or whatever I choose to share on my channel. I want to be real and raw with you all. Raising six kids is very busy. It's very chaotic. It's a blessing, but it's also crazy at times, and I never want to like sugarcoat that at all. So if you all are at all interested in that, I would love to have you join my YouTube family and subscribe. If the earth stopped its spin, it wouldn't change a thing, long as you, long as you hear with me. Cause it's your eyes, I swear, leave me without a care, and I don't mind, I don't So as a seasoned mom of six, I wanted to just take a moment and really just speak a bit of encouragement to any of you mommies who may be watching right now, especially those of you who may be in a similar season of postpartum where you just had a baby. I just wanted to take a moment and encourage you all to give yourself grace. Wherever you need to give yourself grace today, do it. Put the to-do list aside. Really just allow yourself to enjoy this sweet time with your baby. The newborn days are so fleeting and they're exhausting, but they are so sweet and they go so stinking fast. I know it's cliche to say, but honestly, the newborn phase is something that I cherish. And especially knowing that Blair is our last baby, I really just want to take in all of her sweetness and just not let it like slip through my fingers. So I want to encourage you ladies to do the same. Obviously, there are things that have to be done 
but everything does not have to be perfect at all times. Like I said, this is really the first time that I am tackling this house in the last month, as you can see by this clip. And it's not always perfect and beautiful around here, but my baby is well-loved, my kids are well-loved, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So give yourself grace, Mama. Sit down, snuggle that baby, take them in, sniff their little head, enjoy your toddlers if you're in that season, enjoy your school-age kids if you're in that season. Just realize that in motherhood, all the seasons are so fleeting, and even though the days are long, the years are very short, like they say, and we all need to give ourselves some grace. And even though cleaning channels are supposed to bring motivation and make it look like we have it all together, trust me, we don't. We do not have it all together at all. And even though watching us clean is motivating, just know that on the everyday, my house is not always clean. And it's not always immaculate, and that would be impossible. So that's my bit of encouragement for you ladies. Give yourself a grace. Enjoy those babies, whatever age they may be, and realize that you are rocking this motherhood thing. I want a 50s kind of look I want a heart that isn't so messed up I want the pure stuff that I once dreamed of Bless all the dirt under the rug I want a 50s kind of look Shining black and white simply enough No real earth, no complications of That no good nasty real love while we are on the subject of keeping it real around here, I have a confession to make. We actually just started homeschooling last week, and today was supposed to be day three of homeschool, but we have already taken a day off of school. I had every intention of starting school bright and fresh Monday morning, but Sunday of this week, we actually went to my in-laws house. We had family photos. We were actually over there until after midnight. So by the time we got home, we were all super exhausted and we ended up sleeping in. And as you saw, our homeschool room, which is technically our dining room, was overtaken by mess. So I knew that we realistically couldn't start a homeschool day with the dining room being destroyed and our life in disarray. So I decided that we would just take Monday off and just pick up a different day. That is the beauty of homeschool. You can kind of like mix and match your schedule for what works for you that week and you don't really have the pressures of having to follow the school system schedule. So that is one perk but I also needed to lesson plan on this day. I had just really dropped the ball. Day three and we're going strong here. I clearly have it all together but we were able to get this room refreshed and I'm Pleased to announce that we have been homeschooling this week. My kids have gotten their work caught up and done, so it wasn't a complete fail this week, but we definitely did not school on Monday like we had planned. Won't you come with me? We'll go ride the breeze, sing and say la vie. It feels just right It's a brand new day I can hardly wait So for goodness sake I think it's time yeah. Let's tell the world about it Help spread a little light It all comes back around It feels so good This is going to be the final room that I tackle in today's postpartum clean with me because Blair is starting to stir at this point and the kids are starting to come up from the basement ready for lunch. So it's time to get back to momming and the mess is just going to have to wait. But as a YouTube creator, one of my favorite things is connecting with people in the comment section below. And I kind of just wanted to challenge you mamas to comment below kind of like where you're struggling right now or what life looks like right now for you. Are you you homeschooling due to the circumstances? Are your kids virtual learning? Are they back in the school system? 
Are you kind of like having some difficulties getting through your days or have you figured out some amazing like pieces of advice that will help other mamas just really thrive in this season or in the season of postpartum? I would just love to make like a little community in my comment section. So I encourage you guys to comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you on the next one. Oh,